I'm back, baby! It's a fucking shit show! What you think you see, what you think you hear, that's what it's about! Mood and atmosphere. No, it's fucking garbage. It's garbage! Mood and atmosphere. Now that I really like. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want to see. Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. That's right, I am back! I know it's been, uh, well, about two and a half, three weeks since I've actually uploaded a video talking to you guys. I've tried to keep the content fairly regular between the the uh, two dudes and some bullshit that I do with Tony Michael and of course the uh, little Halloween sequel teaser concept trailer that uh, I put out there for you guys that I'm currently working on right now. But listen, when I got back from Hollywood, I was attending the Voice Arts Awards uh, at Warner Brothers back at, uh, back at the end of November. And when I got back, I fell into this, like, this cold that was lingering on for, you know, a couple of weeks. And it was like, oh, God, it was right in here. And then, you know, the sore throat became the sneeze, and the sneeze became the cough, and the cough became the phlegm. And it was just, it was lingering. So uh, it's been quite a while. I've been probably going at about 85, 90% the last week or so. So, and of course I had a lot of voiceover work that was built up over that time. And it's just been insane. It's been insane, but I'm back. I'm back. And I've got some things in the can that I want to get out there. And the first thing I want to talk about is Godzilla King of the Monsters trailer number two. Have you seen it? Did you like it? What did you think? Comment below and let me know. Now, okay. What did I think about it? Well, um, I think I might have liked the first trailer better. Okay, but that's because I'm that theater of the mind kind of guy, less is more to me, depending on the narrative, of course, uh, and depending on what, you know, is out there and what, uh, and what we're seeing. Um, and I'm a little worried that because you've got Millie Bobby Brown in it, you know, I, I know she's all hot right now. She's this young little teen star. Was she 14 now or, you know, whatever she is. And she's just coming off, of course, the success of Stranger Things. And of course, now she's in Godzilla too. And she's very talented, don't get me wrong. Um, and I think there's enough space between Godzilla 2 and Stranger Things Season 2, of course, um, that Millie, we, we, we haven't heard a lot about her in between that time. So I think that's good. I think, you know, we don't want to get too Millie Bobby, Millie Bobby Brown out, if you know what I'm saying. So, um... But uh, I really like this trailer. I don't know if I liked it as much as the first one, but I did really like this. It's very, look, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I've been a Godzilla fan since I was a kid in the 80s, uh, you know, and I used to watch all the old uh, 60s and 70s Godzilla movies um, uh, uh, when they would come on TV. Of course, I'm a huge fan of the original Godzilla from 1954. Of course, that's very different than the American Godzilla. It's the same movie, just with Raymond Burr, uh, and they've cut a lot of the heavy political themes out, right? So you have Godzilla from 1954, and then you have Godzilla uh, King of the Monsters from 1956, which is the heavily edited, heavily edited Americanized version of that movie. It's the same movie, you just have Raymond Burr in it, and a lot of the political nuclear themes were sort of removed for obvious reasons, if you know your Godzilla history. So yeah, you know, I've been a big Godzilla fan over the years, and when Godzilla, Gareth Edwards' Godzilla came out, in 2014, I, I, I got to admit, I wasn't a big fan of the movie. I, I, I like the Jaws effect, the idea of, of keeping your main protagonist or antagonist, depending on what, you know, the situation is, um, at bay and dangling that carrot. But yeah, and he, he did a good job for the most part, but I wasn't crazy on the actors. I, I didn't feel emotionally attached to, to any of the actors. And of course, Godzilla was not on screen. When you are going to dangle the carrot and keep your main antagonist at bay and keep, you know, the audience wanting more, you better hope that your main characters are developed well enough that you can become emotionally attached to them. Because if you can't, the movie becomes very boring very quickly. You want to have the characters that you can, you know, become lost in. They carry the rest of the movie. That's what was so strong about Jaws, right? The shark was not on screen a lot. But Roy Scheider, Richard Dreyfuss, and Robert Shaw, their characters were so rich and so well developed that, you know, it, it didn't matter, right? We, you know, we got lost in all these characters. So that's kind of how I felt about the 2014 Godzilla. But I'm really excited about this movie because it looks like from this second trailer that there's going to be much more, 
you know, you know, the Titans are coming alive here, right? Big godlike creatures are going to be walking the earth. And it looks like a bombastic sort of real fun, epic kind of special effects sci-fi film that you would expect from something like this. Okay. I mean, this is a monster movie. Okay. This is a monster movie. And you know, at the end of the day, it's got to deliver on the monster movie aspect. I mean, you can have your political themes and you can have your, you know, your all, all the undertones of all the shit you want to have. But if you're not going to deliver on the epic bombastic visual spectacle, uh, that would be something like this, right? I mean, this isn't just Godzilla coming alive or King, this is like Godzilla versus King Ghidra or King Ghidorah, depending on uh, what your knowledge is of, of course, Godzilla. Um, and of course, Rodan and uh, Mothra, which is exciting. I'm really excited to see Godzilla face off against King Ghidra or King Ghidorah um, because that's basically one of his arch nemesis. If not, his, I mean, you could look at King Kong as being one. But I'm telling you, I'm excited to see these two going back to, you know, um, back to front. <laughs> I'm excited to see these two go back to front. Um, that's a whole other show right there. I'm excited to see these two go head to head. And when I saw uh, at the very end of the trailer, that shot of them coming head to head, like, ba -ba 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 -ba, I was like, yeah, fuck, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so looks like Godzilla is going to be a good guy in this movie, very much like he was in the, in the, in the first one, when, in the first one from 2014, which I kind of like. I'm telling you right now, I really like King Kong. I do. I'm not, I'm a Godzilla guy. I'm a Godzilla fan. I will always uh, side with Godzilla. And, but I do like King Kong, but there is no fucking way. If this, I know they're working towards that. I know I think the next movie in these, in this, you know, monster um, cinematic universe is going to be Godzilla versus King Kong. If you think about it logically, if you think about it realistically, there is no way that King Kong stands a chance against Godzilla. I mean, at the end of the day, okay, Godzilla just has to breathe nuclear atomic fire onto his skin, onto his fur, and he's done. He's done. I know that they made King Kong bigger in Kong Skull Island, and they had to do that. They couldn't rely on the Peter Jackson film from 2005. But at the end of the day, it's like, dude, like, come on. It doesn't mean that God, um, that um, King Kong might not be able to get some shots in there. I'm, I'm not saying that. He's a, he's a big, strong dude. But at the end of the day, as soon as Godzilla's plates begin to light up on the back, you know, um, on his back, it's like, good night, right? You know what I mean? It gets me excited. It's, it's a, I think the first trailer is better, but the bombastic spectacle that we're seeing in this trailer, which is what you would expect from a second trailer, uh, definitely gets me excited because that's what I want to see because that's what we did not see. We saw moments of that in the first Godzilla film. But when you go to watch a monster movie, you go to watch that. And um, of course there has to be a story, okay? Don't get me wrong. And if you can have a rich, somewhat developed one, that's really good too. If I can get attached to some of the characters, that's great. Um, that's great uh, because that is important. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I like the trailer, I did. Um, it's a good second trailer and it gets me excited. Um, it does. Now I want to talk a bit about the, the poster as well. Here's the poster for Godzilla King of the Monsters, uh, here. I like this poster a lot, but I don't like the fact that the Godzilla, uh, text is vertical. I don't like that. And I think to have Millie Bobby Brown in the photo or sorry, on the poster is completely unnecessary. And obviously she's there because it, I mean, you know, I get, I get why she's there. And I'm not saying she's not playing an integral role in the film. Obviously she is, but I would have removed Millie Bobby Brown from the poster altogether. And I would have, um, uh, really sort of, uh, um, um, spruced up the font a bit. And I would have done something more like this. I just did a quick Photoshop job here, but uh, yeah, this I think is a stronger poster. I think it's a stronger representation of not only um, uh, uh, Godzilla, but also the font because the font is complementing, you know, the king of all monsters, which is Godzilla standing in the background behind this font. It's Godzilla, king of the monsters, and you see Godzilla there. And having the font like this, having it horizontal with a little more kind of, you know, a little more oomph to the font, uh, so to speak, I think I think uh, sells the uh, poster a lot more. And I would, if this poster was beside the Millie Bobby Brown one, the official one, 
uh, in a store, I would buy this one because it's just, it's like, yes, it just, it's, it's bold. It makes a statement and it's just, boom, it, it is what it is. So, um, that's what I would do. That's what I would have done with the poster. I'm not crazy on, on the vertical font. I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't mean the movie's going to be bad. It doesn't mean the movie's going to suck. I'm just from an artistic perspective, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I wouldn't have done that. I would have got Millie Bobby Brown out of there. And I would have put the font like that. Cause it's like, yeah, you, do you know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, so those are sort of my thoughts. I'm excited about it. I think it's a good second trailer. I love the spectacle of it. I love that it looks like Godzilla is once again a, um, uh, a friend rather than a foe, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, he's, he's a fire breathing reptilian dinosaur dragony. I mean, it's not like you can sit down and have a burger with him. Okay. I mean, you always kind of have to, you know, he's a wild creature. Um, but I like the idea of having him on the good side. It's kind of cool. So anyways, comment below and let me know your thoughts. I would love to know what did you guys think of the second trailer to Godzilla King of the Monsters? Are you excited about it? Are you a Godzilla fan? Are you going to go see it? Are you a King Kong fan? Are you looking forward to King Kong versus Godzilla? Godzilla versus King Kong. Do you kind of, you know, side with me in the sense of, okay, cute. Okay. It's not that that might not be fun to see, but at the end of the day, if this was actually happening, I don't think Kong stands a chance. I really don't. I really don't, but that's just me. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. I'm going to have some more videos coming very soon. I want to talk about Stranger Things. I want to talk about Rambo 5 because Rambo 5, Rambo, Last Blood, they finished shooting not too long ago. I want to talk about that as well. And I am neck deep into doing that concept Halloween sequel idea video as well. I'm not sure when that's going to come, but it is definitely coming. My name's Dave McRae. It's good to be back, folks. If you want to uh, follow me on Facebook, you can. Uh, the link is in, a, is in the description. That's where I tend to post in the meantime and in between time when I'm not posting here. If you want to help support the channel each and every month via Patreon, that link is in the description with other links as well to my merch store, IMDB, my official website, if you want to check uh, all those out. So uh, yeah, well, I guess... Um, there's only one more thing that I got to do here, which is essentially <laughs> cheers.